Here we have a truss that is undergoing a concentrated load in the centre and we need to find a deflection in the middle. We're given the values of each individual chord member, so that is a CHS. A is equal to 6300 millimetres to the uh, squared. I is equal to 31 times 10 to the 6 millimetres to the 4. Right, if you have a simply supported beam, and it deflects, that deflection there is equal to PL cubed over 48 E I. We've got most of these this information. P is that, 150 kN. L is 16 meters. E we're given, so we need to calculate I. This is the I for each individual thing, but we need uh, so each individual member, but we actually need the I of the whole system. So how do we calculate that? Well, If we take a slice through the truss, we have this situation. Okay. And we know this A value already, that's 6,300 millimeters squared. And the I, I'm going to write I local which is important, it's equal to 31 times 10 to the 6 millimetres to the 4. I of the whole system is equal to uh, the, the rotation around the neutral axis, so we've got 2 times A times Y bar squared, plus 2 of I local, which we're already given. What's, so what's the value of y squared? Well, we know that these are 60 degree triangles. That's 1, that's 0 0.5, and that's 60 degrees. So that, and that x there, x is equal to 1 squared minus 0 0.5 squared, square root all of that. So x is equal to square root of uh, 0 0.75 meters is equal to 0 0.866 meters. So that y bar is equal to 0 0.866 and half of that. Okay, so is equal, we've got this equation which we can plug in now. 2 times a which we've got is 6,300 millimetres squared times y bar, so y bar we had it in metres so we need to convert, the, convert that to millimetres plus 2 times, and we've already got the i local, 31 times 10 to the 6 millimetres to the 4 is equal to, so let's plug these numbers in, 433 three squared times by 6300 times by 2. We've got, um, oof, my eyesight's 2362361400. Two, zero, zero. So it's, this is, this is um, 2.36 times 10 to the 9 plus 62 times 10 to the 6. So this is actually, this is a very small um, contribution. It's, it's about a hundredth of the size, 30th maybe. Okay, so I is then equal to plus 62, 2.424 times 10 to the 9 millimeters to the 4. Okay, so we've got the information we need. Let's go down to here. D is equal to PL cubed over 48EI. So P is um, 
150 kilonewtons. We're going to use kilonewtons and uh, millimeters. Okay, so what did I say that was? 150 kilonewtons times 16 meters. So we need to convert that to millimeters. 48, and I think steel was given to us. 200 gigapascals, which is the same as kilonewtons per millimeter squared. times i, which we just calculated, 2.424 times 10 to the 9. Already that's those threes are going to, um, the three zeros in 16,000 are going to cancel with 10 to the 9 at the bottom. But let's do the full calculation. 16,000 to the power of 3 times by 150 divided by 48 divided by 200 divided by 2.424 times 10 to the power of 9. So D will equal 26.4 millimetres. That is our final answer.